I want to welcome everyone to His Glory Nation as we continue our series in the book of Joshua. Tonight we'll be in Joshua 16. It'll be a real quick chapter that finishes up God's um, message to Joshua of splitting up the 12 tribes of Israel, which will be God's everlasting covenant between Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob um, forever. We know that Gabriel came to Mary and uh, talked about the, you'll name him Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, and he used to be great because son of God, he will fulfill his the father David's throne and, and, and be the, the Davidic covenant will be fulfilled through Jesus. And he will also be in, in, in ruler of the covenant of the everlasting covenant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the land of Israel that has been ordained from God from the beginning of time. As we always do, we pray that the Holy Spirit will come down from east to west and north to south to be the true teacher in the living word of God, which is our Savior, Christ the Lord. Again, Joshua in Hebrew means Yeshua. This is a foreshadowing of, of the, the, the real the, the, the Yeshua Christ, the Messiah, who's coming down as the King of Kings, Lord of Hosts, in the second coming to issue, uh, issue in the Davidic covenant, which he will split up the land, and this will be God's land forever. When God says everlasting, he means everlasting. When he says Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob will have the land forever, that means eternity. When he says D David, they'll have a king on it forever, yes, there will be. And that will be Jesus Christ, will be the King of kings, Lord of hosts, forever. And the lot, uh, verse 1, and the lot fell to the children of Joseph from the Jordan by Jericho, to the waters of Jericho on the east, to the wilderness that goes from Jericho through the mountains to Bethel. And that is, uh, if you look at the, the head, there's actually a crown. They call it the crown of Joseph. So if you look at it uh, um, uh, in an area, you can see the crown. And again, Manasseh and Ephraim got half portions uh, of, of, of uh, Joseph, but you'll see the crown of Joseph on some maps. And you'll see y Yasser actually has a d dipping of his toe. It's fulfilling a couple of biblical promises or uh, the prophecies in Genesis when uh, um, Jacob was giving promises to the 12 tribes and Yasser will dip his toe in oil and on the crown of, of, of Joseph will be a great treasure. And then went out to uh, so Jericho to the east and the, to Bethel and went out to Bethel to Luz, passed along to the border of Archidites to Atterus and went down to westward to the boundaries of the Japhelites as far as the boundary of the lower, lower Bethorn to Gezer and it ended at the sea. Lower Bethorn and Gezer up in that area so that would also include the, the valley of Megiddo. Uh, that's where the end time coming out will, will be. Um, uh, Armageddon. Um, there's a beautiful valley there. You can see Mount, you know, I've been up on Mount, Mount Carmel where Elijah um, rained down fire and uh, took out the, the false Baal gods and a beautiful vision, uh, vision of um, 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 the Valley of Megiddo. And uh, the Israel's uh, IDF uh, Air Force is underneath that. They have their, their um, Air Force underneath the Valley of Megiddo underground. And a beautiful view to see the Mediterranean Sea. So you, when you're on Mount Carmel, you see uh, Israeli fighters uh, coming and going all the time. Um, so the children of Joseph, Manasseh, and Ephraim took their inheritance. So that would be the land area there. There's uh, a, a company that is drilling oil in the head of Joseph area uh, in, the, in the Valley of Megiddo. And I believe they're going to hit the mother load of oil in Israel. And that will be one of the things, the end times, that the world's nations will come, across, come up against Jerusalem. Uh, in the book of Revelation, in the Valley of Megiddo, because they want the wealth of the oil. And that name of that company is Zion Oil and Gas, who are going to drill in that particular area uh, relatively soon. And that's the, the Valley of Megiddo, and literally at the, the crown of Joseph, according to the prophecy. Joshua 6, 5, the, the border of the children of Ephraim, according to their families, was thus. The border of their inheritance on the east side was Eltra Adar, as far as Upper Bithorn. And the border out toward the sea of the north side was Makeda. So that's up to the Mediterranean Sea. Then the border went around eastward to Teneth Shiloh and passed by its own east of Jenaho. Then it went down to Jenaho to Archa to Nara, reached to Jericho and came up out at the Jordan. Um, the border went to Tapath, westward to the brook of Cana and ended at the sea. This was in the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim according to their families. 
The, the separate cities of the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, and all the cities were their villages. Also, we know we find out later in the kings uh, that e the area of Ephraim became um, it became evil uh, when Jeroboam and Rehoboam split after Solomon. Rehoboam uh, took on uh, Judah and Benjamin, and the other ten went tribes became Israel. And uh, Jeroboam did not want them to go to the festivals in, in Jerusalem, fear, fearing that they would turn and go to uh, the, the king uh, Rehoboam. So he set up false gods and false uh, priests in the area of Ephraim. So Ephraim seem, seems like it gets a backhand from the Holy Spirit a lot. The same as Dan, because in Dan were areas of idol worship as well. Verse 9, the separate cities of the children of Ephraim are among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh and all the cities were the, were their villages. Verse 10, and closing out, Joshua 16. And they did not drive out the Canaanites who dwelt in Gezer, but the Canaanites dwelt among the Ephraites to this day and have become forced laborers. So they never drove them out of that particular area. And uh, we pray that uh, Joshua 16 has been a blessing to you. And may the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob bless you always. Until next time in Joshua 17. God bless.